zippity doo -dah. Beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. Now, as you can see behind me, I'm hanging out on the swinging chair out here at the uh, Polynesian Resort here in Walt Disney World. Now, what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to talk about your voice quality. So, you're watching this video because you want to get good at getting on the phone and doing your sales, right? So, in order to do that, not only to get good at sales on the phone, but this is also going to be very important when you're doing your videos and other communications. This is going to, also going to be very, very important for you. Now, at one time when I was when I was still working with Paul Gonzalez, you know, our business partner Paul Gonzalez, when I was working with him and selling tools, um, I thought there was this quality that people either had it or they didn't have it. And what I meant by that is. I found people that had this power in their voice and then there were some people that just didn't have it take for instance I'll just give you a really quick example there's this lady that I know her name is Kathy Kathy is a very nice lady if you've ever heard me talk about the betas and the alphas well she's a complete beta very nice lady will do anything for you but she doesn't have a high qual a high level of confidence and so what happens is because she has a very low level of confidence she has a very soft voice so if I didn't have a soft if I didn't have a level of confidence I might talk like this hi my name is Chris Brown how are you today you know and so what we have to do is we have to have a good voice quality and what that voice quality will do for people is it will not only be able to uh, allow them to hear us better but it will demonstrate to them that we are somebody that they can trust and so and when you have a soft voice it doesn't it doesn't necessarily demonstrate that and I don't mean from a trust level as to whether they trust us that we're going to cheat them or anything but from a level that they can that they can trust us to do what it is that we say that we're going to do for them so your voice quality is going to be very very important for you so like I was saying you know I thought that people either had it or they didn't have it and that was until I started going through uh, some some uh, relationship coaching and these are people who uh, deal with uh, helping you to to uh, get better during your marriage and pick up women and be, be able to build the relationships with that that was until then and I started looking at that and the correlations of of how marketing plays into that and how they have things that plays into marketing too it's it's it, there are certain things that that business and marketing doesn't teach that they teach and business and marketing should teach and then there's stuff that uh, they don't teach that business and marketing does teach so it kind of both worlds kind of collide and fit fit into there together. So what we have to do is we have to work on our voice quality. And there's some voice trainings out there, and you know different actors and politicians and you know people in the public eye, professionals, um, they might not have had this voice quality, and they may have even gone and spent a lot of money for coaching and training to help them to speak, uh, to have this 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 quality in their voice. Now there's a book that you're going to see at the bottom of this page. It's called Neil Strauss, and it's written by Neil Strauss, The Rules of the Game. And I do have this uh, on my iPad here, and uh, I might have to make a little references to it every once in a while. But it shows us, it gives us some some practices what we can do for this 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 voice quality. So one of the first things that it suggests is that we have a nice, deep breath. You know, people, especially the older that they get and the less healthier, less healthy that they are, um, they just have a very, very short breath. <laughs> you know, breathing like that. So what we want to do is we want to take nice, deep breaths. So we want to fill our lungs with oxygen and that's going to help us to speak more loudly. Now when I say this, this voice quality, it doesn't necessarily mean loud, but it means just more powerful. I could have a, I could have a low, uh, you know, I could have a wimpy voice, but have, but speak very, very loud. 
you know, even people, betas who ha who don't have this very, this confidence level, they can speak loud. But so what, what we need to do is we need to add power to it. And one of the ways that we could do this is by aiding, by deepening our voice. Now that might not be natural to you, but that's one of the ways to, to really help you on this. Now another thing that to do this, a way to help you, especially with your breathing, is to make sure that you have good posture. Now, the chair that I'm sitting in right now, I, it's not necessarily best for me to have a really great posture, but um, you know, you want to stand up straight, uh, sit down. You know, if you're sitting down, you want to sit down straight, but have very good posture. And that's another thing too, is when you're on the phone, do not sit down because you're going to be in a relaxed state. Um, I want you to stand up, and if you see my videos, I, I walk around my office and I'm standing when I make these phone calls. I do not sit down, so I don't want you to sit down either. Keeps you more alert. There's a lot of a lot of uh, subtle psychological things that happen. Now, another thing that you want to do is you, you the, the this book, the rules of the game, suggests that you get a recorder and put that recorder about five feet away from you and speak in your normal voice and then put it 10 feet and speak in your normal voice and see how low it is. So if the, the recorder can't hear it, just how much more that a person in front of you and a person on the phone is not gonna be able to hear it as well. Now when I was selling tools, they had a thing that was called as a voice condenser. And what that thing was to do is to, we, the office was blaring like hip hop music and the guys on the other end of the phone could not hear it. So if anything was not like an inch away from the telephone, they, that, that person on the other end of the phone could not hear it. And it was for training purposes. So they had this like this, this thing that would lower the, the sound of the voice and you would have a guy coaching you and teaching you what to say. So when you had to close, you had this little box and you turned up the speaker so your, your sales trainer could hear it and you would flip the phone upside down and just speak into it. Don't listen to what the guy is saying, listen to what your trainer is saying to you and then just, just speak into the, full, into the receiver and the guy on the other end of the phone could not hear my trainer coaching me and telling me what to say. So what you want to do now is you want to have a good, nice, powerful voice. Speak deep, have nice posture, even, even if you have to speak more loudly. You know, maybe that's part of it too. Um, but when I say this, it's when I say, talk about this voice quality, it's not just speaking loud, it's speaking with more power. So lower the tone of the, your voice. And that's gonna also help you out. And uh, again, there's a lot of subtle and psychological things that this does for you. But I do hope this information has been helpful. Implement this. Implement this not only just on the phone, but in your daily life. And in your day, if you implement it in your daily life, it's. Sorry about that. I uh, ran out of room on my camera, so uh, I ran out of memory. So, but anyway, I do hope this information was helpful. I had a blast filming this video for you today, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye bye now.